Welcome back. You're listening to the Cindy Laverty Show. Thanks for joining us today. If you're just tuning in and you've missed the first part of the show, you can find replays on my blog at crntalk.com forward slash Cindy Laverty. Or the show does a replay on Saturday at 2 p.m. Sunday at 8 a.m. That's Pacific time. So you can go accordingly. But uh, if you want to get healthy, I would encourage you to listen to the replay of this show if you missed it or share it with your friends. Carrie Tepidino is my guest, and we are talking about moving into 2012 with health and wellness and a lot of vitality. And I have to say, after coming off this cleanse, I have a lot of vitality today. I feel really energized. Carrie, as always, it's just great to have you here. I love being here. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> okay. You were talking a little while ago about how stress wreaks havoc on our bodies in so many ways. And it affects sleep. It affects our cortisol levels, our adrenals, all of this. But I don't think everybody understands how important it is to have these things in balance. So how do we manage stress? Yeah, stress actually is Quite, it's quite shocking. Um, stress actually is the direct cause or influences about 90% of health issues that people have. I mean, it's really amazing. And people don't realize it. You know, we've gotten very accustomed to having stress in our lives, and, and we think that that is now the new norm. And it, right. it really shouldn't be. Um, so it's really important to learn to manage your time, learn to prioritize. Learn to say no to things that don't really light you up or make you happy. Like, you don't need to take all of it on. And stress, when you, when you actually really dive deep, okay, so you have this, you have irritable bowel syndrome. Well, what's beneath that? Because irritable bowel syndrome is, for example, just the symptoms. So what's causing that? Like, when you, when you dive deep under migraines, irritable bowel syndrome, um, heightened anxiety, depression, and you keep diving deep, 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 what happens is oftentimes the root of most of these things is stress. Stress is the leading factor in, in many of these things. So really starting to create a lifestyle for yourself that you learn that, you know, saying no to things doesn't mean no forever. It means no for now. If I don't have room on my plate right now for a thousand different things, then I'm just going to put it on the back burner for now, and I'm going to concentrate and focus on what, what I really need to be doing, which maybe that's family, maybe that's relationship, right. maybe that's a new project. Right. Um, but really learning to use discrimination and getting confident and comfortable with yourself to, to put that into to action. Saying no and taking time for yourself. How does, um, quickly, how, does, how can meditation help us manage stress? Well, meditation is amazing, and they've done a lot of research on it. I'm a seasoned meditator. I meditate every day. When I don't do it, I feel disconnected. Meditation is really going to help you dim that noise in your head. When you learn to really go silent and go quiet with yourself and get comfortable being quiet and connected to yourself, you'll be able to let go of a bunch of the different garbage or the monkey mind, as we call it, and just be able to, like, exhale and and ground your energy yeah so i'm i'm learning about meditation and it it makes a huge difference in my day it really does i wasn't very good at it at first because like my brain would just go crazy the monkey brain it was a monkey brain it's a monkey mind and all you need to do is stick with it you know Um, right like anything like anything Okay, you have a new program launching this month, and uh, I think it's a perfect time to talk about that, especially since it's launching in January. So tell us about your program, Carrie. I am over the moon so excited about this program. It's called... No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Seven Weeks to Wellness, your secret formula for optimal health and cleaning back your sexy. And it releases January 23rd, It's holistic and science-based, and what I really, really want people to understand is that it's not just a curriculum or a program for seven weeks. It is truly a lifetime curriculum. When you, if you opt in to join us with this uh, program on January 23rd, it is yours. I, I say download it to your computer, put it on your iPod, listen to it when you're walking, you're exercising, you're driving. When you get off track a month from now, three months from now, three years from now, 
pull it out, listen to it again, because it's going to give you everything that you need in regards to nutrition, supplementation, exercise, the mind-body connection. We go over so much information, and it's really, really diving deep into losing that last 10 to 20 pounds, tightening your bringing in more energy, and really decreasing stress. Like those three things is what it's it's really focusing on. Do you talk about exercise in this? I do talk about exercise. I feel exercise is really important. It helps release toxins from the system, helps get the lymph going. Um, but it's finding the exercise that you can do. It's that you're that, one that you enjoy. That you can keep doing, that makes you happy. Right, yes. Finding exercise that makes you happy, that you enjoy, because then you're actually going to do it. Right, right. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not a I'm not a girl who does well in the gym, but I do really well outside or in my yoga class, you know. Mm -hmm. And I remember the first time I took yoga, I was there going, how can standing in one position cause me to sweat so much? <laughs> it's amazing. I'm a huge yoga advocate. Yes. Yoga's great. And I think, you know, I was so afraid of it before I, I first did it. I was like, oh, I can't do that. I won't be perfect. I won't be perfect in yoga the first time. How goofy is that? But. <laughs> <laughs> but what you learn is that it's just so great for the whole mind, body, soul thing. I mean, there's just so many wonderful elements to it. Okay, when we come back, we want to hear about how Diego's doing, and we're coming into our last break. Stay with us. You're listening to Cindy Laverty Show. I'll be back with Carrie Tepidino. This is...